this is one of those passages where Jesus uh, says something strange or uh, uh, uses hyperbole or exaggerates uh, in a certain sense. Uh, if anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. And the passage ends with, in the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. And he's talking to the whole crowd. He's not just talking to his apostles and disciples, but to everyone saying these, you know, strong words, hating your, your family members. Of course, uh, okay, this is high, hyperbole, as the scholars say, uh, stressing a point uh, to, to uh, underline a, a very important principle that, that we can't let anything keep us from doing God's will, putting God first, serving Him. We can't let anybody or anything get in the way of serving God, putting Him first. So that includes father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, includes our own self, includes our possessions, anything. This is what our, our Lord is saying. And uh, he's, uh, he's telling us to meditate on this truth that, that God comes first. God is a God of order, uh, peace, and he wants us to order our life. God comes first, our family, perhaps our wife, uh, husband comes second or you know family however that everything everything in the proper proper order in in uh in our religion in our the virtue of religion how we relate to god and also our uh, order in our family uh you know god comes first and uh and orders god orders our our relations in our family and in our spiritual life everything should be ordered in our physical life, be good to have things ordered, right? Be good to clean our bedroom every day. Be good to have our house clean every day and order and everything in its proper place. Wouldn't that be good? You know, we could find things that can be happy with the order that is there, a uh, symbol of the order that we should have, especially in our religion, in our relations with God, this order always in this context, the context of uh, God first, and uh, you know, it makes me think of a playground, you know, where you have little children playing in the swing sets and then the sandbox and the playground area and the parents or mother, father are on the sidelines, can't keep keeping an eye on everything and happy to see the kids playing around and having fun and doing, you know, enjoying themselves, but enjoying themselves in an orderly way, right? The children have to do play around in an orderly way. They can't be fighting. They can't be selfish. They can't be throwing sand at uh, their brothers and sisters or their friends. Or they got to be good kids in the playground having fun. And uh, there's kind of an order there, right? And if the, they get out of the hand, uh, they run out of the sandbox or the uh, playground, they get, they wander off, that's not a good thing. So we're in a little sandbox here or in a playground in the world, this world, and we have to be good. And uh, we also, you know, we keep going back to our mother and father, checking on them and them checking on us and always in the context of the presence of our heavenly father and mother. And we're the little children, and we should always be the little children playing around. And we need to always, uh, we need to be able to fit into that mold in our thoughts and our opinion of ourselves and our thoughts of ourselves. We need to be thought, we need to always be able to think of ourselves as little children because we're always fooling around, we're always messing up, we're always uh, tending, tending to wander off and to do, be selfish. And we're little children in that way, no matter how old we are. We're always those little children. But, you know, if we're within the playground in the sandbox and we're always turning back to our Heavenly Mother and, 
And Father, everything will be okay. Even our trips and falls in the sand won't hurt us. And uh, our parents will uh, correct us and uh, we'll be good. We won't get into danger. We won't you know, get into trouble. Uh, always in that context, always before our Heavenly Father and, and Mother, in that order. So, uh, you know, this is the environment we should be living in uh, with, her, with her, uh, this family, uh, keeping everything in order, doing everything to please our Heavenly Father and Mother, and hating, hating everything that, you know, endangers our relationship with with God, anything that uh, is a stumbling block, anything, hating, that's what uh, our Lord is really telling us to do, not hate our parents or our relatives, but hate anything that keeps us, um, anything in them or what they say, or what they do, or their influence on us, hating anything that would uh, influence us in our relationship with God, putting everything in order. So this is mental, physical, spiritual, moral, Everything has to be ordered in our, in our life. Everything in our life that we can imagine. Everything has to be within the umbrella of God's plan, God's will, uh, pleasing God, uh, all within this family, family structure, family happiness, and joy, peace, and uh, learning virtue, learning virtues, learning to practice charity with our brothers and sisters and playing around in a happy way to help help and to share and to sacrifice and to be charitable. You know, all, all of this. So let's thank thank God for that we you know that we have him, we have our faith, we have this truth, we have the wisdom that Jesus has given us and taught us that makes us happy, gives us hope in this life and in the next, and uh, we hold uh, the hand of our Lady to to uh, to guide us through this pilgrimage, through our our life safely, joyfully, and with great hope to uh, be united forever in our heavenly playground, where everywhere is a playground with us no dangers, and where there's only happiness. Thank you.